um, that I like. I told my friend one time. I said, "Hey, let's go get some tacos," and he was like, "Where? Where are we gonna get tacos?" I said, "Just hop in the car and we'll go get some tacos and we'll have some fun." And um, so pretty much, we go, we get in the car, we have some tacos. Dismiss. And then, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm, technical problems. It, okay. Alright, so, technical problems with Facebook. So, one time, I told my friend, hey, let's get some tacos. So, he gets in my car, and we go, and we start driving, and we pass the first taco place. And... He's like, hey, we just passed the taco place. Like, I said, no, there's another taco place we're going to go to. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, we're going to Oklahoma. We're not getting tacos. And he thinks that we're going to get tacos. And so we passed another taco place. And he's like, where are you going? Like, and so 10 miles later, we passed another taco place. 10 miles later, we passed another taco place. And he's like, Keith, where are we going? And I said, we're going to get some tacos. Well, long story short, I ended up going the wrong way. I was I was supposed to go to Oklahoma. I ended up going the opposite way, and the uh, sign said, "Next stop, Houston, Texas." A trip to Oklahoma ends up a trip halfway to Houston, Texas. And I was just messing around telling my friend, we're going to get some tacos. And, um, and we almost ended up in a whole different direction. And my friend did not point out to me that the sign said that we were going to go to Houston. Then we would have been lost for sure. Let's see. Please set the... Alright. So, why do I start off it like that? Alright, in Psalms 1, it says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season, and its leaves do not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Not so the wicked. But they are like shaft that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked will perish. So the book of Psalms it starts off as. Two different pathways that we can go. We can go our pathway. Which doesn't lead to life. It does not lead to liberty. It does not lead to anything good that God promises us, right? Or we can go with the pathway that God promises us, which leads to life, prosperity. Maybe not financial prosperity, but it will lead to some kind of prosperity. Right here in Psalms 1, it says that the righteous is like a tree that is planted by streams of water, Yields his fruit in season and leaves does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. And so the prosperity gospel for one is a fake gospel. Health, wealth, prosperity is a lie from, the, from hell. But the Bible is clear that when we line our lives up with the word of God. We will set ourselves up for some kind of prosperity, either from a just having joy, satisfa satisfaction in life, when we follow the ways of God. But when we don't follow the ways of God, and we try to follow our own way, we will find ourselves not experiencing joy, not experiencing fruitfulness in our lives. Not experiencing the um, the hope and the security and 
and what God has promised us from His Word. So like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, um, this peace that's beyond understanding. We won't experience any of that stuff if we're not aligning the Word of God with our lives and we're not, what is to say, the righteous delights in the law of the Lord and on his day on his law he meditates day and night so the law of the Lord is the word of God is the Bible we have to read the Bible have it on our hearts pray think about it when it says meditate on his word that doesn't mean to empty your mind like today when you think of meditate um, it means to fill your mind meditation is to fill your mind with the word of god now today there's a type of medication medication meditation that is to empty your mind that's not biblical that's not what the bible is talking about the bible is talking about taking the word of god and filling your mind with it to meditate on the word of god so we are called as christians right if there's anything that i want you to take from this passage is that as Christians, we need to be more focused on reading the Word of God daily. We need to be more focused on thinking about the Word of God daily. And not just thinking about it, but thinking about how it aligns to our lives and how we live our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. So like for example, Jesus says, if you hate your brother... You're like a murderer, right? Or if you look at a woman with lust, it's like coming in adultery. And so we have to think, okay, do I look at a woman with lust in my eyes? If so, I need to stop doing that. Do I, um, is there anyone that I hate? If so, I need to forgive. Is there anyone that, um, you know... Name it. Like, look at all the things that Jesus says on the Sermon on the Mount. And, like, align your life with those things that Jesus says. This is really what it means to meditate on the Word of God day and night. Is to take the Word of God and take your life and align them up against each other. Take the Word of God and see, does it really align up to my life? If it doesn't. You have a problem with the Word of God, and that's not good. Now, Jesus says something in Matthew 7 that's very similar to this, of what David is saying in Psalms 1. Jesus says in Matthew 7, verse 24, Everyone who hears these words of mine, and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. On the rock. And the wind fell and the, the flood came. And no it says. And the rain fell and the flood came. And the wind blew and beat against the house. But it did not fall. Because it had its found, foundation on the rock. Its foundation was the rock. Now, when the wind comes and the wind blows and the rain falls and the flood comes, this is like a trial in your life. When everything goes bad in life, you just found out that um, you have cancer, you just lost a job, you just, um, you name it, like crazy stuff happens all the time. Recently, my car just like started acting like crazy with me when in those moments in life when you're facing those trials and heartaches who do you face who do you trust do you trust yourself or are you gonna lean on God and his word that is a um that's a question you have to answer for yourself I answer it for myself. I can't answer it for you. You have to answer it for yourself. So in Psalms 1. Blessed is the man. Happy is the man. The word blessed it can mean happy. Happy is the man. 
who what? Who delights in the law of the Lord. Who meditates on the law of the Lord day and night. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to experience a blessed life? Read the Bible. Take it seriously. And live it out boldly.